So the event and the teams now move to the small town of Nanup, just under an hour east of Bustleston, where all our action was last night. You can see they're all just setting up here, ready for the first service of the morning. Today lies just under 100 kilometres of forest roads in and around then up here. Some of those ball bearing WA roads that we know so well. Last night, however, it was still on the tarmac. Two runs around the Bustleton Super Stage. Scott Petter and Dale Moskett on top after those two stages. 1.1 seconds in front of Brendan Reeves and Rihanna Gel Sabino. Tony Sullins, third place after a disastrous power stage. He cleaned it up to be in third position as they get ready for the forest stages. Let's see what they've got to say this morning. Scott Penner, who would have thought after Bustleton two tarmac stages are in the lead? Yeah, absolutely. I had a bit of pressure last night. Obviously, the Walkinshaw guys have had some reasonable success <laughs> on tarmac over the years. So, uh, and they gave me a great car with some good setup and obviously just uh, fantastic knowledge on that surface. And uh, it was my, uh, my my chance to uh, shine on that surface and, and did. So it was good. Must be quite nice as well because you won the power stage, but you know, Brendo had a problem with the handbrake, which did cost him time. To come out last night and be in fair and square must be good. Yeah, look, the first run last night probably couldn't have gone uh, much better. Yeah, it, was a, it was a good run. A couple of, t couple of small mistakes on the, on the second run, but, uh, you know, Brendo's done a lot, of, uh, a, lot of, a lot of that stuff in the World Championship with those sort of surfaces and on gravel tyres. Uh, obviously, I've been around there a few times, but it was, uh, it was nice to get, a, to get, to get the, the upper hand uh, early. Yeah. Scotty's obviously in the lead at the moment. He has a lot of experience on this rally, particularly the morning stages. He's very good. You not as much experience this event. Uh, how are you going to play that? Well, last year it was our first time back here for a long time and we wrote those notes. We're using those again this year for the first stage. Second stage is a reverse for us, so they're fresh notes. But having that knowledge from last year has helped a hell of a lot to prepare for this year, watching the in-car from last year and the notes as well and just making those slight adjustments. It's going to be a big benefit for us today. Big Pat and all smiles. What a great uh, power stage and uh, Friday night for you. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we had a lot of fun out there yesterday with the new package with the uh, the engine unrestricted and also with the power and also the weight uh, advantage or disadvantage, depending on how you look at it. But, uh, yeah, car's feeling really good. We're really happy with it. We've been uh, a long two and a half, three weeks to get here. Um, but, yeah, you know, we're here and we're going to give it all. Sean Keating, what a run last night, mate. Third quickest on the first pass. It's going to be a good start. Yeah, it was definitely definitely a pearl of a run, the first <laughs> run. And the red mist hits when you look at the time sheets. The second time round, lock a few tyres and go a bit slower, but, but still good even the second pass. So, yeah, hopefully I can keep that up. Obviously, the boys are a lot faster in the dirt than me, the faster group. So we'll just um, go for a drive and hopefully keep it straight and keep it on the road. What a fantastic power stage for you. Third, got some points in the mix of it. What a great run. Thanks, Dean. Yeah, it, would, uh, it was a surprise to us. Um, obviously, it suits because it's, uh, I think, a little less technical than the gravel, that's for sure. It'll be a totally different thing today, that's for sure. It'll really be um, concentrating on staying on the road and you know, not being quite so concerned about times, that sort of thing. But it was a great result for us. How did you find the recce and what do you think of the West Australian roads over here? Obviously, over the years, you always hear about how slippery they are and the ball bearings and all that sort of thing. Certainly, the um, first couple of stage, I feel, are pretty daunting. Um, later on, I think it'll be a little little more what I'm used to, perhaps, you know, in Victoria, that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, we'll just have to take it as it comes. We um, struggled a bit at the power stage, but um, last night the car was good and then I had a bit of a go. So, um, just busting to get out there today and have, have some fun. As you said, you actually rebuilt almost reverse of your teammate Adrian, had a quite a good power stage and then had a bit of a shocker last night. You were opposite. Yep. Does that sort of help you feel like the momentum's starting to build towards this morning? Oh, I hope so. Yeah, like confidence is a good thing. And, you know, like they say in rallying, confidence is probably 80% of the success. Yeah. So, you know, the car's good, I feel good. And um, if the roads are as good as they were at Ricky, I reckon we'll go all right. What's your thought process going into the stages this morning? Uh, look, there's certainly a bit more confidence than from when I was standing here talking to you this time last year. But, um, you know, look, they are, this, the roads are incredibly slippery as you know, um, I'm hoping the rain might have put a bit more grip into it. I was going to ask what you thought of that one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look, you know, I'm just going to sort of just sort of try and find my way into it. Um, Scotty and Brendo are going to be going hammer and tong, I have no doubt. Um, but, you know, I want, to, I want to try and, you know, like I need to bridge that gap. So we'll see how we go and, and assess it this afternoon. Well, the good news, I think with a bit of a light rain, mate, it's only going to help you out this morning. So it should be a little oh, bit better. To know that. that makes you feel better. <laughs> Enjoy, mate. Thanks, mate.